So, I'm Michael Buckley. Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash new Michael Buckley. Today we're talking about challenges. When did we meet? I want to I want to give everybody a frame of reference. You're in the shot. We all see you. She's hiding in the back. This is Corano's boyfriend. Uh, girlfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. Whoa. I'm a uh, boyfriend. So, tell us about when did we meet? When did we meet? We met probably. Come sit down with us. VidCon. Come sit down. Okay. Hi. Definitely yeah. VidCon, right? VidCon 2013, 12. But the point One is, we're talking about challenges and overcoming things. And whenever I talk about challenges, like, oh, my mother died when I was 24, or oh, I got divorced, and it's like those are pretty the, big challenges. They are. I don't think I have anything that like, can beat that. How did I overcome them? So right now, <laughs> you, what, you've already trumped me. The video hasn't even started yet, and you've already I'm trumped just me in saying, challenges. What is something that in your life was something that you woke up and you're like, this is. Difficult, and I'm gonna have to overcome it. And how did you overcome it? Uh, Think back to high school, middle school, now. Yeah. Like, what's a challenging situation? Um, well, there's a lot of situations I was thrown into that I wasn't prepared for. Example. Which is a lot of things. So, for example, um, I had a television show thrown in my lap. They were like, uh, I had a television producer. I had a YouTube channel with my dad yeah. making fishing videos. That sounds fun. Yeah. And then um, they were like, do you want a national television show? And I was like, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I not want that? <laughs> they're like, you know how to do it, right? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. And then signed the paper. I'm like, I don't know what I'm right. doing. Yeah. And then I went straight to the university and went to the film department and went, I don't know what I'm doing. And just enlisted the help of... Uh, people that knew what they were doing. But had you already signed it and was it Oh yeah, it was, it was signed. Oh yeah. yeah. So it had to happen. Yeah. It's so the, you uh, literally figured it out as you went. I think there's a, f a famous person that had a quote, and I don't know who it is. It might be Albert Einstein. Or Beyonce. Know, no. It could be Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. Albert That's Einstein or Beyonce. It could yeah. be one of the two, yeah. but it's one of the things along the lines of like you, you, you do it, you agree to it, and then you figure it out. I, and, and then you deliver it. I feel that way. And uh, I yeah. did. Yeah. I did it. And that has been my life in this entirety. Figuring it out as you go. Figuring it out as you go. So it's funny because you always talk about, uh, there's an expression in the business, fake it until you make it. Yep. So do you feel, Oh, it's so true. It's right. the most true thing I've ever heard. Yeah. yeah. At what point though in your career have you ever felt like you were confident and like I'm doing what I need to do and I know what I'm doing and I need to... Oh, know. the the day when I deliver that confident yeah. speech, that's yeah. the day I feel like... So I you're not it. there yet. No, but then the next okay. day I'm like, oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. It's so, always I'm always one step self behind. Doubt. Always self doubt. Self doubt. So here's a question: What gets you out of bed in the morning? Like, what is your motivation? What is your primary driving force of life? Hmm. Those challenges are the most interesting thing. Yeah. Because it's like, what am I going to be faced with today that I don't know how to do? And I'm going to pretend I know how to do it, and then very quickly. Learn how to do it. That's all. Yeah. And That's then it's like, what is it going to be today? I don't know. It's like, do I have to do with buffer? It's like, do I have to make business decisions at these terms? I don't know. And you get on a phone call and you're like, they have these business terms. You're like, oh yeah, for sure. You hang up. You're like, oh, freaking, what's, yeah. what are these business terms? You're like, oh, right. I shouldn't have agreed to that. And then you fix things. Right. You got to, the challenge is the best part. That's a good way to look at it, because some people are uh, paralyzed by challenge, so you embrace challenge. Embrace it. How are you with change? I love change. Well, there you go. So you're set love for it. the rest of your life. That's good. Love it. And you, growing up now, what has been the biggest challenge you've ever had to overcome, and how did you overcome it? I don't know. I'm not this articulate. Something though. So life's been smooth sailing. No, no. You moved from Holland when you were 12 to Canada. I mean, yeah, That's, I moved. Yeah. I moved to <laughs> Sorry, as I answer for her because I know and you've you been well dating enough. for nine, ten, ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. yeah. It's and so when you were. <laughs> So when you were 12, you moved when from... When I was 12, I moved to Canada from Holland. Uh, so, I mean, I guess that's a challenge. We had to like, of course learn it, 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 a, a, huge a new challenge. language Adaptation. and adapt. And um, I actually met... The first person I met was somebody who lived down the street and biked to my house and was like, Hey, you just moved here. Come bike around with me. You don't speak my language, but that's okay. Yeah. We're going to hang out. So that was really helpful. Yeah. Uh, so friends are good, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so now, what gets you out of bed in the morning? What's your biggest motivation in life? What inspires you? Um, I guess I just want to do, like, I just want to do stuff. Like, I'm excited to, we have Buffer Festival, and it's, it's fascinating. So for those of you to, like, who don't things. know, Buffer Festival is... Explain it because it's very different than VidCon or Playlist or other it's, festivals. So what's Buffer Festival? It would be a uh, content first as yeah. opposed to creator first. So like uh, Playlist and VidCon, amazing. Yeah. Community. Different vibe people, Different vibe. Yeah. 
Uh, you get to meet everyone, you get to have a great time. Buff Festival, you get to show your videos and have a great time as opposed to meeting people. But you also get to meet people too. Right. Yeah, it's just, it's a little else. harder to meet people, yeah. but it's more like YouTubers make videos, right? so let's show the videos. Yeah. So uh, VidCon playlists are great and it's like as creators you want to be there as an individual, but Buffer is the opportunity to actually kind of show your work. Yeah. And it's in Toronto, home of the Tim Hortons. Home of the Tim Hortons and home so, of the cold. And you also, you <laughs> were recently... <laughs> it is cold. And you were recently in Tribeca for the film festival. To explain that situation. How did that go? I mean, that's a long time coming. That is a long time. So tell them it was a, a <laughs> vlog... Yeah, so... That in, started back in... Tell them. <laughs> actually, in, in, in 2012, Corey and I wanted to make a documentary. We pitched it for Canadian grants. Denied. Across the board. Denied. Because in 2012, they're like, YouTube, that's not What's a thing. What's YouTube? Why would we ever give you money for YouTube? Right. Denied. And so we're like, well, I guess we're not doing it because we don't have the funding for it. Right. And then we connected with Shay, and she's like, I've always wanted to make a documentary. Shay Carl. Shay Carl. Yeah. We're like, whoa, this is, this is like, let's do it. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. And then in 14 days we did it and we raised two hundred thousand dollars. And there's just amazing. There's a lot of a lot yeah. of money and just yeah. it's outstanding. And then we went and we made this movie. Yep. We filmed it. It's basically it. it's a documentary about vlogging and YouTube and people sharing their lives and their stories on the internet. And it's a very different experience than anybody has ever known before. Mm -hmm. And I mean, because, right, the people that they're covering, they were literally like first generation YouTube stars. So yeah, now it's like the these OGs. kids now. And it's some like, new G's. Yeah, and yeah, some yeah, new yeah. G's. And how did like. I just coined that term right now. The, new, the, G's. the, new, the G's. new G's. If that and happens, Morgan Spurlock me. is involved. How yeah. did that happen? So Shay met Morgan Spurlock right. just at like uh, an event. And she's like, hey, I'm Shay Carl. I do all these cool things. I'm working this documentary. And, uh, and Morgan's like, as a documentary person, found right. it fascinating. And then we had a bunch of meetings. Talk to him about it, and he signed on to finish the movie. So if people will watch it now. Can we find it online? So anywhere? not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Right. We just premiered it uh, yesterday. Yep, at the yeah. film festival. Yeah. By the time this two video goes ago, out, maybe it it'll be two somewhere. Days ago. Okay, but the, by the time people see this in a week or two, maybe it'll be up. Try where will it be? Uh, we don't know where it's going to be because there's bids in for the movie yep. on distribution. So it might be on YouTube, it might be on Netflix. And how was the HBO. response to it? Amazing. It was good. good. Yeah. It, good. it was amazing. Good, good. good. Well, yeah. very good. Well, thank you for joining us. Keep it tuned here. And where can people find you on the internet? Uh, probably the best place would be youtube.com slash apprentice eh. E-H is in the Canada A. A. It's like Drake from Degrassi. <laughs> A. It's I was sitting here like, this is fine. This is leisurely. I got this.